What is going on, everyone? We got 26 people in here already. That is awesome. Thank you for tuning in, everyone. And, uh, yeah, you know what? We had to go live after the Unmasked show. This might just be a thing. You know what? Just because. I hope everyone's having a good day. And I wanted to talk about the Ford Bronco. I mean, come on. Kicker says they're going to make a new Bronco build. Do you guys know who Alma Gates was? That was the Kicker build. If anyone talks crap about Kicker, they would be like, oh, well, what about the Alma Gates build? That thing was crazy so it's awesome that they're doing that but how's everyone doing let's hang out and uh i don't know just throw some uh throw some stones see what happens how's everyone doing tonight i love broncos what's going on scott thanks for tuning in man i hope everyone's having a good week sorry i wasn't here last week uh things happen but we are back and we are in business what's going on 25 hope hope everything's going good for you deviant what is going on man Bobby B says, I got to sit in Alma's Bronco. No way, dude. That is awesome. Like, that is, that's like, hey, I got to meet the President of the United States. You know what I mean? That's, that's awesome, dude. Yes, Dub Team, that is the kicker clock. The ultimate kicker clock. <laughs> I need to make more. I do. <laughs> What's going on, Jeff? Thanks for tuning in, man. Oh, well, we got almost 30 people up in here. Thank you, everyone. Uh, if you're on Facebook, I'm streaming on the Kicker Club and uh, on my page and obviously YouTube. So thank you guys for tuning in. Appreciate it. What is happening? Not much, man. You know, we're just going to talk about 
the Unmasked show. This is what we're doing. This is the Unmasked after show. I feel like it's going to be an official thing. We're just going to do it, you know? Have some fun and kick back, you know what I mean? Talk about what they talked about on the Unmasked show. Uh, box enclosures. If you guys had any questions that maybe Kicker didn't uh, throw up, maybe we can answer it or I can try my best. Uh, otherwise, that's what we kind of do here on Tuesday nights. The Kicker Ticker. I like that. I got a ring to it. <laughs> Dub Team, you are right, man. Everyone is asking for this Kicker Clocks. So I've been seeing it. I've been seeing it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Bobby B, you're still waiting on the clock. You're super, I'd be happy that you got the uh, stickers I sent you, man. Those guys almost got lost overseas or something, man. At least you got those. Uh, choke change. What's going on, man? Thanks for tuning in. Is the Bronco going to run the whole Solo X family? Absolutely. Um, now, what does the family consist of? What members? I know Drew was talking about, uh, what was it, uh, nine... 12 inch L7X's so to power that I don't know but you know how it goes family I don't think they're gonna run some sundown amplifiers or some tear amps on that I'll tell you that much and uh, you could run some KX 2400's one on each <laughs> that's about as much power you want to put to it though but you could do it you could absolutely do it what's going on Facebook user you are one busy man, absolutely, man, you know, but I enjoy doing what I do. Thanks for tuning in. I know, it's crazy. It's like family life, kids, job, this, everything. But you know what? I'm doing what I like. Three solo X's in the background. First person to comment on it, yes. Uh, the solo X ate the scar. It's gone. It's gone. <laughs> I figured, you know what? It's not even in my car right now. It's been sitting over there off camera. Why not? Why not while it's here? You know, we got three of them. We got we got the whole family here. <laughs> Mullen says, power over cone area. Hey, you know what? When it comes down to it, power can fix a lot of things. <laughs> RGA, it's okay, man. I know you're late. Thanks for tuning in, buddy. I hope uh, you and your wife and your kids are doing good, man. <laughs> Dub Team says, for clocks, do you need a 2-inch coil or a 3? Just asking for a friend. Uh, no coil works even better. <laughs> Jimmy P, thanks for tuning in, man. I would love to have one. You know, if I could get a nice source of blown kickers, because they're going to be a lot cheaper than uh, old ones, maybe I could talk to Bill about that or somebody uh, in importance up there to maybe get some just some cones. Uh, that would be really cool to do on the side. The hardest part is taking it apart, but if I could get them as they were, man, that'd be easy. That'd be easy. Mike Davis, thanks for tuning in, man. What's going on? Uh, 25 says, Andy, Cookie Monster, Hamster, and Stewie, Family Guy. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> Bobby B says, Andy, 4.6 L7X15s in an O2 Sierra cab. Uh, 4.6. Wow. And in a... In a extra extended like an extended cab that's a lot of uh you almost need a blow through with that man i would just go with a six at that point william what's going on man thanks for tuning in yo 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 andy what is up thanks for all you do what a great kicker show tonight as always absolutely man it was a good show it really was i enjoyed that one thanks for tuning in man i appreciate all that you do as well Facebook user, you guys, if you if it's coming up Facebook user uh, on you, just you can click a little thing. It's just for Facebook in the Kicker Club. But I know you're watching from the Kicker Club, so thank you. Appreciate you guys. Watch the L7X demo vid. Changed every thought. You know what? That's why it's there. That's why I reshared it on my even my YouTube. You know, not my content, but God, it's an L7X flexing. You know, like who doesn't want to see that? And it, it's eye candy, man. And it's not that it's just eye candy solely, man. That's a woofer that is designed by Kicker. And you know anything about these guys? This one's going to be even better. Thank you, everyone. It's tuning in. We got a lot of comments here. Keep them coming. <laughs> You wiring that clock in the dirt, aren't you? Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> uh, let's see. 
I thought they mentioned fewer, but bigger subs were generally better. Why not six L7 X15s instead of 912s? Um, I think even six may be more cone area than the 912s. Uh, so you would almost have to factor in the cone area and other factors, but mostly the cone area. Uh, because the enclosures only can be so big, and the idea of when you build an enclosure in a system, you want everything to work together. Uh, I know we talked about it last week with my actual live show, that, you know, you gotta, gotta plan for that stuff. You can't just put a big Solo X18 in your car and just, hopefully it works. Uh, in some cases, it might be better with, uh, smaller. So, maybe that's why they're going with that, or just, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe for simplicity, uh, and, and the length, you know what I mean? It's the 615s may not take as much depth, and how Drew was saying, like how you got to wire them and put them together, and they only take up so much space or a certain type of space, you can't countersink them, or you know what I mean, like mismatch them. They got to be beside each other in a way. They're square, not circle. So there's that factor alone, but I don't know entirely. I'm sure that they'll come down to uh, what actually they will do, and they will let you guys know. Where do you get the kicker clocks? Uh, you got to make them yourself. They used they they did sell the QL7 as a clock, had LED lights and everything. Um, but I don't think they sell that anymore. Let's see here. Um, got lots of comments here, guys. Base said thirty. Thanks for tuning in, buddy. El Foyga says, I'm getting ready to fire up my kicker gold letter eights. If they come up stinking, it's time for a clock. Exactly, man. It's the perfect, you know, excuse to make one. You know, you blow a kicker, you blow a sub. Well, I can make it into a clock. <laughs> I got that 15. That's a 15 comp. It looks like a 12. It's a 15. Um, I got that off of Dan at the stereo shop. I wanted the box. And he's like, dude, you just take the sub with it, but it's blown. I'm like, okay, cool. Um, so it was actually the second sub I took apart because uh, it was in really good shape. And uh, the first one was a CVR. It might turn that into a clock, but it uh, got a little hot on that one. So it doesn't look perfect, but it can be a clock. Uh, taking these apart are not the easiest. They use very good adhesive. And uh, let's just say you got to know what you're doing. <laughs> Otherwise, you will burn it. That thing is just a dust cap. That is not a uh, cone like other speakers are, man. It's real thin. But that's why kicker subs are efficient, man. Bobby says, Andy, my bad, four or six L7X subs, no backseat wall in it. Um, whatever fits, man. I feel like with a pickup truck, even extended cab, full cab, you're not going to have that much space as you normally would with other things. So, honestly, I would just go with a four. Especially, uh, I think you said 15s. That's going to be a lot. That's going to be like 12, <laughs> 12 cubes, easy. Dub says, you know, whatever kicker is going to build in that Bronco, it's going to be loud AF. Absolutely, man. You know, I can't wait with, for what they're doing. You know, it's like they brought out that news like it was like, oh, yeah, we're doing this. And it's like, wait a minute. You're make you're redoing the Alma Gates Bronco build. But this time you're, you know, probably going to keep it within you, your, your, your company. Um, so that's awesome, man. You know, because that one, I forget what Alma Gates, I think she had 40 12s or something like that. It was like insane. But with today's technology, the power advances, and just with how the enclosures are designed, I'm sure you can get almost the same output out of that as Alma's original one did. Lick a day. Thanks for tuning in, bro. Watching from Australia, and all Kicker fans here are keen for the release date, bro. Any date yet? Um, from what Jeremy Brown was saying tonight, I feel like it's going to be probably quarter two. Uh, could be quarter three, which is like July and up. So I feel like this summer it should be here. It should be in your hands by at least end summer. Don't don't quote me, but I feel like that's from <laughs> the way he answered that question tonight. If he caught it, uh, I feel like it should be ready by then. Um, or they just have everything together and they're just waiting on someone else to get it. You know what I mean? Approved. You got to think. You got to have all these woofers ready to be sold. You know, when you hit buy, they got to be there and they got to be at the dealers. So it's going to be a process no matter what. Justin, thanks for tuning in. It is the after party. Absolutely, man. Uh, <laughs> Samuel Seal. Andy, how long have you been vaping? Did you ever have a rebuildable RTA? No, I tried the rebuildable RTAs. Long story short, uh, kept ke catching them on fire, and that's how I learned a little bit about impedance by wiring those together. Um, yeah, I've been vaping 
ooh, since 2016, that's when I quit smoking cigarettes. Car audio, cardio car audio. I like the name. Thanks, Andy. No, thank you, man, for tuning in. Ashy, what's going on, buddy? 13 says he just sold his house. What's going on, dude? I hope you have a new one to move into. <laughs> Dave! It's the Dave and Andy show. What's up, buddy? Uh, let's see here. Holy questions. Ashy says, I got the kicker IK150 clock radio. You know, I seen someone, I think Bobby reshared that. I wanted to get one of those. I seen it on Goodwill.com and uh, I forgot to bid on it and then they sold it for like 10 bucks. I'm like, are you kidding me? I could have got that darn thing. That's where I got all my amphitheaters. They're great. I don't need any more, so go there, buy stuff. <laughs> I got like seven of them. I know, John won, 25. John actually won. And you know why he won? He had extra entries from watching the Live and Loud with Andy stream of the Kicker on Mass stream. So if you watch it, dude, I know like five people that actually won like the first grand prize winner. And I swear they bump it up just for him. <laughs> Wink. <laughs> yep, that's what I used to smoke. Thank God I quit. I'm, tr I'm trying to quit the vaping too, man. It's not, it's not good. El Fuego has a question. How much coin do you think this Kicker Bronco build is going to cost? My guess is 100000 not including the works. Well, if you don't include the labor, because I'm sure, you know, Drew Jones is going to get paid one way or another, but the actual guys building the enclosure and the steel frame, I don't know, you know, what's going into it, but time is money. Um, but with just, you know, product, uh, I don't know, man. You got to think, is it retail or is it what it's going to cost them? Uh, so you got to think about like, you know, at least half uh, under that. So maybe a hundred thousand altogether because it's going to be a beautiful car too. You got to think this is going to be at all the shows. You know it. You know it's going to be at the shows. So it's got to look good. It's got to have the nice paint job, the rims. They were already talking about it. So absolutely, man. It's going to be expensive. I don't know how much. <laughs> got to go, everyone. Talk to you soon. Thanks for tuning in, 13, man. I wanted one in earplugs also, RGA. <laughs> Let's see here. Da, 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 da. Got a question from God Earplugs. Do you know anything about critical mass 8 inch three way front stage from Cincinnati? Thanks for tuning in, man. You're not too far from me. How about them bangles? Um, I don't know too much about that brand in particular, but a three way front stage sounds what you need. Um, now, what do you need to know about it? Power and work positioning. I'm not really an SQ guy, but I understand how speakers work and you know the basics and, and then some. Uh, so maybe get a little more thorough into it. Maybe I can try to answer your question, but there is no best. We know that. Yeah, Solo X will probably not be cheap overseas because of shipping and, and, and everything else that goes along with that. But, you know, it's going to be cheaper than the last one. Think of it that way. <laughs> we got KLM, KLM817. I know you've been tuning in and you just subscribed a couple days ago. So, appreciate it, man. I see that. I see things. I don't see everything, but I, I do see things. Todd Wolf, what's going on, dude? Okay, it was me who watched the L7 video, 212s, here I come. Absolutely, Todd. So you're going to go with two, you're not going with the single 12 uh, L7S or Q? El Fuego says the L7X will be released when the new kicker amp line is available. If they are in the process of making that, you would think with bigger subs, they need the power. So you would think it would go hand in hand and maybe it's going to be a big splash. That would be nice, man. Absolutely. Ashy, what is going on? Thanks for tuning in. Larry, the same, man. Andy and the crew, man. I appreciate you guys, man. This is the most we had on a uh, Unmasked After Show. So, you know what? If you guys come, the videos will keep going. You know how it is. I started my live streams just randomly, and then you guys keep coming, so we're going to keep doing it. Uh, Silos Botwin, thanks for tuning in. Can you hook two subs wire down to one ohm to two amps? Well, if you would have two amps and... You would have one sub on each, you would need dual twos, so each one would be at one ohm. Um, so I think that's the way you would have it, so you would have two dual twos, 
wire them in parallel by themselves one to each amp that's the only way now if you strap them uh, then it's a different story then you have to be strapped at two ohms so each amp sees one ohm and then you would need what dual fours no dual twos dual twos wired in series parallel it'd be a little confusing but you could do it I think you think yep yep deviant with the plug what is going on man weekly PSA Andy has a patreon that starts at a buck a month it's an app takes PayPal it's one dollar two live streams a week plus regular quality content thank you thank you deviant you know what I mean now it's gonna be it's gonna be even less than 12 cents per video slash live stream man so absolutely man <laughs> John says I learned about ohms first through my dad's electric motor repair shop first when I was a kid then through car audio and then through my short stint of vaping so many things <laughs> same man same the bazookas I I seen a triangle sub the bazooka on marketplace and the guy had one of the bazookas in there and then like some other round sub in the same box and I was like hey would you sell just the bazooka because those are the liquid cooled ones or they could be if they had it you know what I mean there was an option for it never answered me back I'm like oh come on man <laughs> oh let me throw this up real fast this is the uh if you guys haven't seen on the, oh there we go sorry I'm glitching here uh that is the need a smaller uh, no I can't do that with this there's there's got to be a way yeah there we go I'm sure you guys can see enough uh yeah that is the uh bronco that they're gonna do it's gonna be red so uh yeah that's gonna be awesome <laughs> Larry says I'm betting the kicker bronco will be completed before the sound man base man I mean I feel like maybe probably just because they're gonna have more people on it uh, I know sound man. He's probably a one-man team on that I wish I had a zoomed-in picture. That's why I was like Whatever in the beginning of the show I forgot to send it to my computer and then it's not a PDF So I couldn't throw it up here. So there's the picture. I mean it works. It's not, <laughs> not the best I really wanted to have a nice blown-up picture for you guys. Todd says, should I have the stereo shop hook up my key or a guy named Andy for the video demonstration? You know, that would be cool, Todd. I could do that for you, um, and we could do that. Um, let me know when you're going to do that so I can have my garage cleaned or on a nice day so we're outside. Uh, you know how videos, they got to they gotta look good. Uh, but absolutely, dude. Free of charge. <laughs> William Lindsay, thanks for tuning in. Okay, got your plug. That's how I'm running two CXA 1800.1s from Cincinnati. Absolutely, you got the 215s. I remember that. I will remember your system, but your name? Whew, gone. Kicker Audio Fan Club. Thanks for tuning in, man. Used to sell the Triangle Bazookas. That's cool, man. I wish that uh, I could get my hands on one really bad. <laughs> The triangle ones I saw were kicker branded. They did have a portable um, boombox, you will, that was triangle and had triangle passive radiators. I think that's what you saw. Deviant says, JP released a ported verse sealed enclosure tonight. Ooh, that's going to be a good one. Ooh, am I really caught up to the comments? Don't tell me I'm caught up to the comments. There's no way. This doesn't happen. This doesn't happen. <laughs> I think I am. Awesome. Need to take a sip real fast here. Um, Lika says, I guess, how many subs will be on the Bronco? 15? Um, Drew was saying 912s. It'd be nice if they had some 18s. You know, I think four 18s in there would be just iconic. But that's just, that's just coming from me. <laughs> 25 says, I have sealed, but my next build is going to be ported. I mean, you're going to miss your sealed box, but you're going to have, there's pros and cons for each man. I love sealed enclosures for the simplicity, the natural roll off, and I guess the tighter base. I've had 
cookie monster in a small ported box and it was tight when i had people get in my car they're like and, and, and that was the thing like i loved giving demos to people that didn't know what i had and they would just get in and they're like what do you got back there like three tens or something and i'm like <laughs> it's 118. so it doesn't matter on like the cone size of what it's going to sound like or the enclosure type um because it was punchy it was really punchy and the type of vehicle sub up port back hatchback tight small port tune to 38 small box for that five cubes but i like both there's pros and cons you're not caught up what do you mean i'm not caught up <laughs> brian townsend i still haven't made my mind up on ported or silly out of my build what are your subs what are you really looking to get and what kind of power you got and the vehicle and a location in the vehicle Bobby B be steady posting on the Kicker Club, the Kicker Audio Fan Club, every Kicker group there is, uh, all the old Kicker videos. I want to make a little, um, I want to edit them together with the AQD, the audio quality disorder that Kicker did a while ago. I want to do that and just put it all together like a movie because it really is. Uh, but they have it like broken down in segments. But just just so everyone can see it because it, it is old content, man. It's from like 2009. And he's going class D with a comment efficiency. Absolutely, man. Full bridge. You know it. <laughs> Todd says, yes, and you know me. I will always hook you up. Todd, you are amazing, dude. This guy gave me a CX-1800 and a CX-250.4 because my amps got stolen out of my car and just because he was my friend, man. Still have it. Three sides, but they would only do domestic disturbance. Oh my goodness. What are you talking about, Deviant? Too much side jagging here. Bobby B says, Andy, Dean, and Fernando have an Alma 12 for her Bronco? Hmm. Absolutely, Deviant. Yours, mine's, and the truth. There's two sides of every story, or three sides of every story. <laughs> Your side, my side, and the truth. Absolutely, dude. Let's see here. Brian Townsend, 2P3 12s on a 1500 watt in a PT Cruiser. Um, that's nice, man. Uh, 12s, I mean, those subs do work well in a sealed enclosure. They're very efficient. I think the FS is around 34... 33 or right in that nice ballpark i don't know what the qts is and the ebp but just by looking at it and i've had those i've had the 15s i had the 12s um they do well in ported enclosure you could throw them in a big ported enclosure tuned to the dirt uh but if you want just 25 hertz and that's it uh go with that but if you want something that sounds good i would go with maybe like uh two cubes each sealed on each 12 and if you're going to go ported you can go around that, but watch the port area. El Fuego! Andy, what about a ported box that can be sealed? Thinking of building a panel. Um, I've thought about those, you know, like a port. You, I, I've seen memes where like the ports flap and I'm like, yo, it's ported and sealed or changing frequency. With the right size enclosure, you could get away with it. You absolutely could, where you would have like a sealing mechanism. Now, it would come down to how well you can seal that ported section to make it sealed and work properly. You absolutely could. Um, now, what are you going to gain? You're probably going to lose a little bit of SPL around that bump where that ported enclosure peaks at, and it works what the ported enclosures do. Um, but you just got to watch on the seal because it's just going to have like a better natural roll off rather than a steeper drop. So, I mean, it all depends. And that's for the Q15, so maybe like to get around, it, it should work okay. Because the kicker Q15s, I know the L715s work from 3 to 6 cubes, um, sealed and ported. So, and there's a little variance between each sealed and ported, I forget which. But they're pretty vague, because there is a range, there's a wide range of how they work. And how they work better compared to one or the other. Uh, so I would stick around the four cube area. I wouldn't go too big because then if you make it, you know, ported, you're going to be tuned really low. Or if you make it too small, you're going to be tuned really high. And then it might just 
not sound as good and there might not be a difference I would go with like four cubes four and a half cubes like you were doing with that eight inch arrow Maybe something around there where you could slap something over top seal it in and I feel like the biggest battle would be sealing it Jesse James, thanks for tuning in man appreciate you guys Kicker Audio Fan Club, I am glad I have a camera and alarm in my SUV. Uh, yeah, man, you know, well, this was at, it was sitting down at a shop, the engine went, and I had my amps mounted on my car. Uh, but people know who I am, and it's a shame. They went in there with a, a power drill, so they kind of, like, st stoked it out. You know, like, okay, let's come back, we need this. Because <laughs> nothing was ripped. Uh, everything was undone nicely. And it was bolted into the metal, so... Maybe I'm not caught up? No, a little bit. Not too bad. I was going on a little rant there for a minute. Well, we've already been live for 30 minutes. I usually try to keep unmasked after shows at 30 minutes, but we got a lot of people in here, so maybe we'll hang out a little bit longer here. Jaquan! Thanks for tuning in, buddy. No, you're good, dude. Uh, you know when I usually go live, but we're probably going to start doing this, you know. Probably just a half an hour show after the unmasked show. i got to fix my white balance. It keeps going crazy. I think it's that light I got behind me. Thanks, Ashy. Uh, let's see. Todd says, I'm just wondering what amp or amps will I need for two L7X12s? Um... Man, well, if you go with their current stuff, you're going to need at least a KX2400 or an 1800.1 to be kind of happy. Um, Got to think, they're 2000 RMS subs, and I don't know enough about them, but just by telling what it is, uh, you can run a 1000 RMS amp on it. It's still going to sound good, uh, but then, you know, if you plan on running that kind of power, then you have to build the enclosure accordingly um, and have those, you know, realistic ideas of the performance it's going to do with that little bit of power. Um, but as always, uh, you can never have too much power. Choke Chain says, Andy, you were right. It was the kicker branded boombox with triangle passives look like speakers. Absolutely, man. I love, just like Bobby, I love digging deep into kickers pass and like all their products and you know, you have those days where you, you just type in kicker, okay? And then you're looking at images, you're looking at old stuff, and it's just, wow, what's that? <clears throat> Stussy Cole, thanks for tuning in. Kicker just did a whole Tuesday vid with a medium-sized ported box that could be sealed... They even gave the boxes away. I think that was for testing purposes, but absolutely, man. I mean, I just, you don't see it normally. Um, and whenever you build your own custom box, you kind of want to build it so that you're not going back there and flipping the port. And honestly, are you going to really hear that much of a difference? Um, I feel like you could just change the enclosure size or the power applied or the t port tuning to get a little bit more, more, more dramatic results compared to just sealing up a port. If that makes any sense to you guys. 25 says, any ported kind, circle or square ports? Um, honestly, circle, just because there's less with the air turbulence and just how fluid dynamics works. Um, when you have squares and like rough edges, you know, there's different speeds at different positions at the port. Well, when you got, you know, corners at that, that it's just, it's not <laughs> cylindrical, if that makes sense. Uh, so that's why aeroports are just more efficient for what, for the size, not, you know what I mean? So if you have like the same cone area or surface area of the port, and then you go with a square that has the same, you know, you might have a different, same tuning or whatever, but it's going to be a different size, uh, just because of the shapes. So there's going to be that and just the efficiency of how the air is going through something and different pressure points in the port. Yep. 
You remember that day? Absolutely, man. That was crazy. <laughs> You're telling me, Deviant. You got you got that you got that beauty fill. I got that beauty filter on the night just for you. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, buddy. Am I like really behind on the comment? No, they're just I don't know if they're just not coming in too too fast or what. Okay, we're good. <laughs> As she says, Andy, if I have four apples and three potatoes, how many watts will it take to do 200 miles? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Larry says, I have an old first gen RX-7. Nice. So that's like 86 or something like that. Uh, that I eventually will put two 8L7s in it. That's awesome, dude. Just don't destroy the car. Just don't destroy it. It's a drift car, man. <laughs> What's that got? The one Jay-Z in there or something like that? Alfoygo has a good question. Andy, how much power are you running to your KS components and Cookie Monster? Um, I literally just... Well, right now it's the Alpine. But um, I want to put in, finally, the KX 400.4. Uh, but right now it's an Alpine MRPF... 450 the darn thing does 200 watts a channel at two ohms. It's stupid. It's stupid. It's too much power and it's blowing my tweeters. So the KX 2400 or 400 is going in there. Um, so absolutely, I, I like it. You know, I just got to watch. It's too much power for mids and highs. But when you only have four speakers in your car, um, it's almost not enough. You need to do doors and then you can distribute that power um, more evenly. You're not pushing your equipment to its ultimate limit and. Uh, Things just, they like that better. <laughs> uh, how many miles are on Cookie Monster in what year? I mean, my Eclipse, it has 124,000 miles on it. I don't drive it much anymore. I hit about 100 and some, and then I just kind of stopped driving the car as a daily. Um, but yeah, uh, it's 2007 Mitsubishi Eclipse, uh, five-speed GS. Four banger, you know, it's all right. Uh, but yeah, I don't know how many miles are actually on the car. My odometer stopped working at 106. So I don't even know how fast I'm going. I just, you know, what gear I'm in is how fast I'm going. So <laughs> it's a uh, transmission sensor. I have it. I just never installed it. I figured uh, struts, motor mounts, and all that kind of fun stuff was more important than knowing how fast I was going. Oh, and brake lines. <laughs> Todd says, are you with any alternator company? Ohio, yes. I still am in uh, collaboration with Ohio Generators. Not like I won't promote other ones. Um, but yeah, absolutely, dude. I know, I was waiting. I wasn't going to ask you, man. But I appreciate that. I can't wait to get that stuff. Thank you, Jaquan. Thanks for your question, Nick. But I, I don't have any experience with the Safard uh, subwoofers. Uh, see, you say, considering two and bigger sealed boxes for my old high-top conversion van. I mean, I like oversized sealed boxes just because, um, you get nice low extension. They're not peaking really high, but it depends on the woofer. Bobby B says, my EB200s are better for music. The EB400s are better for podcasts. I don't have the EB400s. I have the 200s. And I know what you mean. The EB200s have a lot of bass. Especially at like low volume, and it's got nice DSP just like these do, where it you know kind of doesn't rail it down, but it just kind of says, all right, that's enough um, with the uh, bass and the volume and stuff. So absolutely, they probably have better quality. That's the thing. You got to think the EB200s are the entry level of the Bluetooth uh, headphones for the earpiece. <laughs> El Fuego says, Andy, my 2021 Forerunner is Army Green. Is it okay to put green shag fur on the sub and call it Oscar? Absolutely, man. You know, I was already talking to Bill. I was like, listen, the Bronco needs red fur. Make it happen. <laughs> now, if they do it, I don't know. <laughs> Vega! What's going on, buddy? The Kicker After Show. Unofficially. Uh, 
Uh, Kicker Audio Fan Club. I had a 2003 Eclipse. Had nothing but issues with it after 100,000 miles. Yeah, you gotta you gotta replace that timing belt. I gotta do that on Kayla. She has a 12. We have matching cars. It's so cute. Let me tell you. <laughs> Welcome to Talking Loud with Andy. <laughs> Sorry, am I, am I too loud? My headphones, I, I feel like I'm quieter than normal. I don't know if it's just something on my end or what, but. <laughs> Talking loud, living loud, you know the thing. Let's see here. Uh, Andy, I'm running four Zashi, running four KST 204s and four KSC 69394s on my KX 600.4 on OSS. Is the 600.4 too much? Um, no, I don't think so. If you're going to run, I feel like you're going to run, um, what, the four on two sets of channels and then the other four on the other two sets of channels so you can have your crossovers and everything set in your left and your right, I would hope. And honestly, when you're running all that, I don't think it's going to be too much. And you're going to be able to keep the the KST-204s. I'm trying to think what those are. I know what the KS-69s six, six are, 6x9s. KST 204s. I think those are the tweeters. Um, I feel like you'll be able to, you know, set your gains and you'll be okay. You can never have too much power, but just remember where you have your gain set and tune your stuff before you start playing your bass. If you got any bass in the back, uh, make sure you play it separately. I've done that. That was my first mistake whenever I first added any kind of amplifier power to my mids and highs. I tuned it. This was like the ear meter days, like 100%. I tuned it with the bass going. Oh, man, did it sound good and crystal and clear. But let's just say it took about two days, and then one of my tweeters went, and I'm like, yo, what happened? <laughs> so you can't hear that distortion, and you got to make sure everything's set right. But I feel like you're not going to be in that ballpark of just way too much power and, like, launching speakers and just melting those little tiny coils on those guys because you got to think the coils on six by nines are really small they're like not even an inch so or if they are bigger they're like an inch yes todd my car caught on fire man uh the whole dashboard no <laughs> no just the wiring in the dashboard but it, it would have went it would have went uh it still drove after that while it was still smoking it still it, i could have drove it home but i probably would have been on fire uh yeah that was a Terrible experience. I had to take the entire dashboard out and rewire the entire harness. The engine harness was okay, but just the uh, the dashboard itself. And um, yeah, man, not fun. I thought it was done. I really did. Thanks, Andy. No, thank you, man, for tuning in. I, I feel like you know this is something cool for us to do after the unmatched shows because you know you never you never get enough. No matter what show, who's on, what you're watching, you always want more. So you got something else to look forward to. I think we're just gonna start doing this. Given a situation. William. Kicker Bronco with red fur and call it Elmo. It's coming out swinging. I'm turning this back light off. It's messing with my white balance, I feel like. Absolutely, dude. Absolutely. SJC says, Andy, I had a 99 Eclipse GST and same minor issues after 100K, and I probably should not have slammed it so low. Yeah, I got mine lowered, too. Uh, I didn't do any kind of uh, full lowering kit. I just uh, replaced the uh, springs. I got Tyan S springs on there. Yeah, you, once you start modding stuff, that's when you really run into problems. <laughs> I used to be Need for Speed, Brian O'Connor... Like, I can do reverse donuts, pull out forward, I, I can drift sideways going 60 miles an hour. I'm retired. Um, so that's why my car had a little bit of issues along the way. And then I've always had a system in it, you know. So. <laughs> it's running, uh, it's together, so. El Fuego says, Andy, I asked on the Unmasked. Well, that's why we're here. What are the benefits of inverting sub in an SPL build? I feel like the main benefits, because you can change variables, even if you have it in a fourth order, you know, you're taking up more space in the second chamber compared to the first, if you just flip it, yada yada. But I feel like the main benefit of inverting the subs, one, looks cool. Two, heating. 
Um, think about it. When the sub motor is inside of the box, the air has nowhere to go. So if you're, it's hot outside, you have hotter ambient air, plus the motor's getting hot, there's no cool air going by it. You can't run a fan or a blower on it to keep it cool. You got your AC running and everything else in your car, and the ambient air is changing because the windows are open and air is flowing around. It's going to literally cool down the woofer better than just sitting in a box resonating in that same heat. It's not going to dissipate through the enclosure as fast as it would as <laughs> with no enclosure and just your vehicle. Um, now, SPL score. That comes down to variables like I said, but I feel like you can get away with... If you look at all the main SPL builds, you know, like actual SPL, they're not inverted. Guys are funny. Sorry, I'm just reading the comments here. <laughs> Vegas is doing the Patreon only stream tomorrow night on the old 12 volt talk time slot. Oh man. I think I just need to be a patron so I can see that. <laughs> uh, let's see. Man. I think I'm caught up here. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty caught up. I'm just kind of skimming here. We've been on here 45, 46 minutes. I, I, I think we're probably going to cut it here. If you guys got any last questions, um, let me know. Choke Shane says, are all SPL builds windy or not necessarily? Now, when you say SPL, are you talking about the loudest you can be in the vehicle with whatever enclosure? Then no, not at all. Um, what you're talking about is more just the demo builds. Um, when you're competing, you're, you're not going to be tuned that low. You're not going to be the most violent at 25 hertz because it just, like, like uh, Drew was saying, you're not going to be competing like that. You're going to be tuning your system and it's going to work really well between this little window. And that window is the key because that's efficiency, working with the vehicle how the enclosure is in the vehicle, everything like that. Um, and usually those frequencies are a lot higher. And just because of physics, it's easier to get louder with the shorter wave compared to a longer wave that needs to extend and you can't fully extend it. Then you get into quarter wave, half wave, all that stuff. You just don't want to go down that rabbit hole. Um, but those are the best kind of builds that are really loud. They're doing 163, 165s, and they're whipping your shirt around. Not where it's like, oh my god, I can't breathe. Like my my larynx is just going down to my stomach because it's just vibrations uh, at 45 hertz and above. <laughs> As she says, so Andy, run the tweets on the front channels and the six by nines off the rear channels, not tweeter and six by nines on each channel. Uh, absolutely. Why I tell you to do that um, is unless you're running like crossovers in between everything, um, you might run into overpowering them. Plus, if you're t okay, say you're dividing everything is equal, okay, uh, and you're giving it 100 watts and you're splitting them up 50 and 50. Well, if your six by nine is 50 watts RMS and your tweeters are never going to be the same, they're going to be lower, you know, just in most cases, um, 25 RMS. So that you either dial back that power available to 25 watts so you don't blow out your tweeter or you run too much and you blow out that tweeter to get the most output or, you know, what sounds like what that speaker can do at, at full 50 watts. When you have them on separate channels with the front and the rear, you'll have, because it's a two amp, there's two amps in that one amp of the four channel. You'll be able to set the gain of how much power you're going to send, and it'll be more evenly distributed. Now, the only thing is you're not going to have your left front, your right front, and your rear right, and your left rear. That's what you're going to lose. But you're going to be able to push everything to its, you know, normal performance without blowing out the tweeters and stuff like that. And crossovers too, man. Crossovers. God, you know what I mean? How would you be able to set the crossovers without having something in the middle to bypass that? You know what I mean? You want to be able to send below 2,000 hertz or whatever to your 6 by 9s I feel like you might just be limited on flexibility. It's going to be... You don't want to do that. 
I literally have my little silk dome tweeters, silk, whatever, silk, silk dome, man, silk dome tweeters hooked up to my uh, head unit power, just so it's separate. Yeah, everyone, uh, pray for RJ or whatever you believe in, man. He's uh, him and his family are not feeling too good with the uh, the vid, man. Uh, hope you guys pull through all right, man. I know your situation. El Fuego, Patreon is a great way to support YouTube content creators. Absolutely, man, because you know no matter what, how many videos you put out or what you do, you're still getting paid. And look at that, El Fuego coming with look at that. I, I I I totally missed that, or he just did it. He just did it right now. Look at that. El Fuego, thanks, Andy, for the after show. Means a lot, man. Does. Keep up the hard work with the content creation. Thanks, man. That really means a lot after this past week. Um, and you guys, well, you know, you already seen it. Uh, there'll be a video out this Thursday. Part two of the Walmart uh, build. So, thank you, El Fuego. Choke Chain says, thanks, Andy. There should be a windy competition with some kind of award. I think they did. That was the uh, demo, not demo showdown. It was for Slamology, like pretty much best demo. Uh, and I think Steve Duncan got that one. <laughs> Let me get a couple more questions here. James Bruce, what do you think of the Solo X in 10s and 12s, like the older ones? Any recommendation for box size? You'll see me with one this season. Um... Bruce, I think they are relatively the same. I mean, it's a 10 and it's a 12 and they're square, right? Um, but <laughs> they're totally different. So now with the teal small parameters and the power handling, I feel like the old Solo X is going to be more of an efficient woofer for SPL, but this is going to be more of a demo bruiser. You know, this thing is going to be the sundown, the big thing with lots of X Max and... You put it in the right enclosure, you send a ton of power to it, it's going to be loud, and it's going to be probably efficient a little bit more than the other ones. Who knows? Uh, we don't know until it comes out. So, um, box sizes, I can't tell you, you know? I know some stuff, but I, I, I know stuff from six months ago, you know? They've been changing stuff, and that was the whole thing, and that's why it's taking so long. So I can't really give you box specs. Uh, Got to get to this, man. This is my dude. This is my dude. Oh my goodness, we got a couple of them here. Look at this. David says, El Fuego inspired me. Hit that like. You know what? I appreciate you, Dave, from the Dave and Andy show. You know it. Um, thank you. And the likes really do push the videos on YouTube, even after, man. And it's awesome that you guys do smash that like button. We got 34 people watching now. And there's some on Facebook. I understand that. But it's almost 100% ratio. So you guys are killing it. And I appreciate you guys. And David... I appreciate you, man. Thank you so much, man. And we got John, the winner of the Unmasked show. First place. First place. Shout out to El Fuego for doing a super chat. Yeah, the super chat still works. I appreciate you guys. It's like sometimes I'm thinking, is it broken? No. <laughs> appreciate you guys. And you know what? Without your guys' support, we wouldn't be able to do what we do and myself. So thank you guys. Really. Let me go back. Uh, I know Scott was saying something. SD Designs, great show. Andy was doing ads, listening. Thank you, man, for listening to it. And I do that. This, I do the same thing, man. <laughs> you know, you're working on something. It's like, well, I can't really watch, watch it, but I'll listen to it while I'm doing something. And he's still waiting for the kicker amp dyno. You know what? It's coming, Bobby. And I'm going to try to start pumping these videos out. Not pumping them, but getting them ready because it's like there's so much to do. Now it's like two live streams a week, and I got to get out these videos. Um, but I want to get a little bit ahead because I got to do some stuff. My garage needs cleaned. I would like to do other stuff and with my other builds and videos. So absolutely, man. It's getting there. It's getting there. I miss the amp dinos. I do. I do. I do. Yeah, RGA. Good, sh good stuff with the supers. I know, man. You guys are awesome. You guys are killing it, man. Especially after this last week, man. Holy crap. Holy crap. You know, it's like, you don't want to lose motivation, but at the same time, it's like, you got to do what you love, man. I, I preach it. I, I got to walk the same thing I preach. You know what I mean? Baba S with the $20 super chat, just like David and David K and El Fuego inspired me. Hit that like, man. You guys are crazy. 
<laughs> El Fuego started it all, man. It's just like it's like the snowball effect. And you know what? That's awesome. And Bob, thanks for tuning in, man. I, I appreciate you. I really do. Everybody that does. Like it, it's insane the community that we're building and with everything going on, man. You guys are awesome. Period. 25 says Johnny was rigged. It's always rigged. Why do you think he won? Why do you think he won? <laughs> Thank you, RJ. Same to you, man. You know it. SJC coming out there. He's like, hey, wait, hold on, guys. Hold on. Andy needs more RAM. Thank you, buddy. And I know I do. I still need to get have that conversation with you about computers and whatever I can afford with, you know, getting away with, you know, just upgrading this computer so we can do more fancy stuff and I won't run into problems. And, you know what I mean? Appreciate you, man. Thank you so much. Um, I think I, I know I got you on email. I think I gave you my number. Or I have yours. Either way, re-email me or re-message me, and uh, I need your number. Oh my goodness, throw some cheese on it, Jaquan. You guys are nuts. Oh my god, I see all these. Oh my god, you guys are going to make me cry. Oh my god. <laughs> throw some cheese on it. <laughs> Thank you, Jaquan, man. Holy crap. You guys. El Fuego said, nope, I'm done. I'm not done. All these guys in chat inspired me to step it up. It's like a competition now. <laughs> this is crazy. You guys are awesome, man. Making me sweat up over here. Damn. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I do appreciate your broke butt, RJ. <laughs> I can't even. Let's see. Just want to make sure I didn't miss. If I missed your super chat, let me know. Cause it was like, I, I never had these many super chats in a row, so they're all like, duh, 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 duh. <laughs> I appreciate you guys. I really do, man. I really do. And this was an awesome show. It really was. You know, I was, I'm always contemplating before every live, but it's like right before I do it, it's like, I get this whiff of fresh air and it's like, you know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, all right. If you guys got any last questions, oh, Deviant, he's coming in there. He's like, hold on. Hold on. Add this to your $1 Patreon supporter 14.4 volt talk for the win. Sorry, I just threw that in there. But it's always for the win. Thank you, man. Appreciate your support. And uh, I, support, I, blah, 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 blah. I support all you guys. And appreciate you. I really do. All right. Well, yeah. John says, Andy, I built my PC myself. I'd be glad to help. Hit me up on Patreon chat. Oh, wow. So I got two of you guys. Holy moly. Okay. Awesome, man. Awesome. You know what? It's just... I, I understand computers a little bit, but at the same time, um, I'm not a, a purebred with it, but, you know, I know I don't forget my email password, you know, it's like, hey, how do I get in here? I, don't, <laughs> I know all that good. Ashy, damn it, this is my last time, the third time. Ashy, thank you, man. You guys are crazy right now. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You guys aren't going to let me end this live stream, are you? <laughs> <laughs> no thank you ashy and dave he is just throwing some bacon in with the cheese you know i love bacon and cheese that's like my two favorite things so thank you guys <laughs> thank you dave and hey, we got scott sd designs he's jumping on the bandwagon for 222 thank you man appreciate you and love you man i love all you guys holy crap man you guys are awesome this is nuts yeah that is that's how i'm feeling bobby that's how I'm feeling. <laughs> I can't. I know I love you too, man. I do. I know you guys do, and it's like, it's just awesome to be here where I'm at today. And I was talking to RGA, and it's like, man, I'm in a good position in my life, and, and I appreciate it. And I'm at the time in my life where I can appreciate it, because maybe if this would have happened before, I might not appreciate it like I do now. And that's why things happen for a reason, and, you know, you have to wait for good things. I appreciate you guys. I just appreciate everything. Thank you, John. Dollar sixty nine. <laughs> Cornut. What's going on, man? Holy moly! Super chat, super chat, super chat. Appreciate you guys. Holy crap! You guys are nuts. <laughs> RGA, good talk earlier. Absolutely, man. I had to give you a buzz after everything. <clears throat> Now get that Walmart built done. I got you, Dave. I got you. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> I can't. 
Deviant for life with another super chat. Vegan cheese, 14.4 for the win. Vegan. <laughs> Are you a vegan? <laughs> no, for real. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Thank you so much, dude. Man, you guys are, you guys are awesome. Holy, holy, holy shit. That's I'm gonna say it. Holy shit. You guys are awesome, Jeff. Jeff Wallace. He said, "Here's my contribution. Thank you, guys. You know, you guys are gonna make me cry. You know, I, I just this week. Holy crap. Holy crap. And you know, I I haven't been able to sleep at night. I don't want to make it a pity party, but you know." Now it's like, okay, I am, I am doing, I am doing the right thing. And I knew that. I knew that. I, I didn't have to have someone tell me, but it feels better when they do, you know, and, and I appreciate you guys. I do. Holy crap, man. Oh, dude, 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 dude. <laughs> Andy, Kayla, got a you're telling me, man. <laughs> Good thing my mom does the taxes, but next year is going to be nuts with taxes. Dude. Baba. Here for a ram stick, bro. Wait. Really? That's all they cost? That's awesome though. Holy crap. So you can just stick it right in the USB and then you got more RAM? That's a thing? Like I, I didn't, I, I don't have like a computer with a desktop, but I'll get the desktop computer. Holy, thank you, man. You guys are awesome and it's just, holy. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't know what to say anymore. I really don't. I really don't, man. But you know what? That's right. Thank you guys. Yeah, I'm, I need more RAM. <laughs> I need more RAM. Here, we'll just we'll just leave that one up there a little longer. <laughs> guys are crazy, man. Thank you, El Fuego. Means a lot, dude. And he's buying full size Snickers now. I know, man. Even Snickers and Reese's. I usually buy those almost every day. A two for uh, three fifty. They're up to like two for five now. So I, I think I may be able to afford the uh, king size. Thank you, thank you, Ashy. <laughs> I am the real crawfish, Annie, bro. What's going on, dude? Thanks for tuning in. 16 gigs of RAM. Holy crap! I only got four on here, so that's going to be a hell of an improvement. And I'll be able to do everything that I need to do. That's awesome. I'm gonna have to look into that to see which one to get and uh, go from there, dude. Scott says, it's okay to shed two gangsters as fuck tears, buddy. We love you, buddy. Thank you, man. I love you too, dude. I love you too. Facebook user. Kicker Club. Thank you, Bobby. <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> TV. Andy deserves all of this. Who else? <laughs> thank you guys. You know, <clears throat> thank you. That's, that's, that's all I can say is just thank you. You know, and it's just, it's cool to do what I'm doing, you know, and to be in this position and have you guys and do all this stuff, man. And it's just going to be even better from here on out. Oh <laughs> man, you guys, you guys need to stop. <laughs> SJCI. $20 for that SSD too. I got you, bro. SSD. I know that's something with a computer. I don't know what it does, but I know I probably need it. <laughs> Thank you, man. <laughs> oh, man. Wait, SSD. I know what that is. Solid state drive. I know what it is. Is that, is that a solid state drive? Please tell me. <laughs> Please tell me I'm right. <laughs> David says, Andy, you ain't too far away, and I know you got money for a beer. Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to have to take you out for a drink, Dave. It's on me. <laughs> We'll get a tab. Oh, man. Oh, slippery, super slippery doorknob. You know what? That's it. Holy moly, guys. You guys pushed me past the one hour mark and the half hour mark. Is this what's going on here? <laughs> no, it's been awesome. And you know what? I can't, I can't thank you guys enough. And again, thank you for the support. And, you know, it's cool to do this for after the Unmasked show, you know, because it is kicker. I mean, that's what we do. That's what I do. And uh, the live show is on Friday after the Rolling Thunder. And it's just, you know, it's cool to be able to do these things and to reach out to you guys and to just be an extra plug for them, you know, and for you guys at the same time. And, you know, my communication with you guys on here 
you know it's just it's it's a, it's an awesome platform man thanks rga yeah no she's gonna spend it all on target <laughs> kayla's gonna spend it all on target I am the real crawfish. Andy, we got to get together and come up with a kicker build to bring to finals next year. Oh, I know your YouTube name, but I'm trying to remember who you are. But absolutely, dude. Absolutely. Kicker needs to come back in the lanes. Am I late? Just a tad. But it's OK, man. Thank you for tuning in, Toyd. It's it's a little emotional right now <laughs> at this point, uh, but we're here. We are here. Thanks for tuning in, Dave. Love you, buddy. <clears throat> you can read it for yourselves, guys. <laughs> Thank you, Deviant. <laughs> Baba S, stay safe out there, guys. Great show, Andy. Keep up all that you do. Thank you, man. Thank you for your support tonight and just everybody supporting. And thank you for tuning in. Dusty Cole, go tell your kids good night and keep being awesome. Thank you, man. I will. I will. I think I'll be able to catch him. Eh. I might be able to. I might be able to catch him. I know Bryson might be still up watching the cartoons. No updates yet. You will find out on all on future Unmasked episodes about anything with the L7X. Uh, you'll hear it there first. Baba says, just watched you hi-fi in Justin's vid. Absolutely, man. Oh, toyed. Toyed. Ryan Townsend, this has been the craziest stream ever. You're telling me, man. But you know what? I, I, I had... Uh, did you ever get, like, goosebumps, you know? Like, you can't sleep the night before or something, you know? Well, that's what, what today was, you know? And uh, <laughs> I'm happy that it went the way it did. <laughs> Jaquan says, Andy, ever thought about walling your Eclipse with 418-inch? I wouldn't have enough car. Um, not even to for the enclosure, but to fit up and down <laughs> in a wall. Uh, you could fit two. I wanted to do two. You know, I have a couple of these. Uh, I wanted to get another motor and basket. Um, but you know what? It just didn't happen. Uh, maybe down the road, you know, eventually. You know, I'm always going to be running a Solo X build, uh, no matter what it is, and uh, Solo X18 in another build, because you never know, man. And I always want to keep that, you know, thing. Come on. TV says toy toss up a super chat. You guys are crazy, man. You guys are crazy. I appreciate all you, man. You know, and it's been awesome with the show. And who, who? All right. Well, I think we did it, man. You guys are amazing with the super chats. Like, who cares? Who cares? But I appreciate it because I know why you're doing it. But at the same time, it's like this was an awesome show. It really was, and I figured with the Bronco coming out, what better time to just go full tilt boogie? You know how we do. So, uh, again, thank you guys for tuning in and watching. Uh, I think I'm going to end this here. Um, of course, we'll be live Friday. Stay tuned. My video will be out Thursday. And um, as always, guys, love you. <laughs> Stay living loud. I'll see you guys next time.